Hi Leo, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for a quick look into your money and love matters. We're gonna start as usual with some Palo Santo wood to cleanse the air. Maybe a little more. We're bathing in the divine light of protection. And I'm asking my higher self to help me guide our beautiful Leos towards their highest possible spiritual path, please. We want every being which is not here for our highest good to leave this place right now. And we are thankful for all the answers we get in advance. Now, let's see what's going on for Leos concerning their money and career, please. Let's start with money and career. Thank you. First two cards are already out. Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. That's what we want to see. What else do we get? What do we get? Thank you. You've got the Page of Wands and the Death card. Okay, now let's see what's going on for love. Love for Leos. We've got the Tower some big change what else thank you the king of pentacles with the ten of cups what else for love can we get one final card for leos please the seven of pentacles very good very nice okay we're done shuffling and we'll go right into your reading So Leo, let's start with your money reading. First of all, we've got the death card in the reverse. So some of you might have felt a little bit stuck until now. Maybe you had the feeling that somebody was putting you into the earth like a seed and burying you with soil and it was dark and you were just waiting and you were like, hmm, so now I'm the seed, but when I'm gonna start growing? So you are waiting and you felt like nothing is happening. So you didn't like it. You, you, you saw that there was no movement coming in to the whole money and career thing. So you were just waiting there, yeah? Like under the earth, like, hello, I'm also here. <laughs> I need some water, I need some sun. <laughs> so now comes your perfect change because now you've got the eight of wands first of all the wands are always good for you leo because the wands are standing for your sign for aries leo and sagittarius to be exact they are standing for fire passion creativity and this particular card is a card of very quick changes so now finally comes the moment when you're not stuck anymore you finally feel free. This card will give you the possibility to travel, to move quickly, to get to a new job or something, yeah? So this is definitely a card of action. This is your go time, okay? And here comes the sun. Here comes the ace of pe uh, pentacles. This is amazing. This is the best gift you can get concerning money and career because here the universe is handing you over a new chance. This could be a raise, a promotion, a new job. This could be an opportunity you actually never thought of before. So this is a beautiful new source of income possibly. Then we have the page of wands again another card of wands very good for you leo fire and passion energy so with these wands cards there are messages coming through because it's a page the page is always bringing a message so there's info coming in so either you get a phone call or an email somebody is telling you just face to face listen i would like to hire you i've heard you do a good job at this and that i heard you are very creative so i need your ideas so this is many creative ideas coming to your mind really really quickly and that is what's going to give you a new opportunity concerning your money and career now let's see uh, what these cards have to say because this is a special deck it's special for money and career matters so let's see where you can find your life purpose leo is there a card for leo inside this deck please concerning their career card for leo please okay we've got one 
We've got artists. Well, this card says engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. So this card is telling you, Leo, that you have a lot of creativity inside of you. The, the ones are always standing for creativity, passion, loving what you do. So there are many, many creative ideas are coming to you at this point in time and you should go use it. So now let's go over to your love reading. So you first of all got the tower card. There is no need to be afraid of the tower card. It basically just means surprise. This can be a good or a negative surprise. In this case, because I see very positive cards in the rest of your reading, I think this is a very positive surprise. So this can, for example, mean that there is the chaos of new beginnings. Yeah, it's like, let's say your partner, you're coupled up and your partner says to you, listen, I got a brand new job. Let's move to another state, to another country. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be so cool. And you pack your bags and then you come to this new apartment and your stuff is all around, you know, these moving boxes. And it's a little bit of chaos, but it's a very good kind of chaos. It feels good to be in the new place, yeah? And to really make it your home. You, you have this feeling of new beginnings with that card. The tower card is basically saying that you're ending old things and starting new things. This can, for example, mean that if you are in a coupled relationship, that the old phase of your relationship is ending and a new phase is starting. For example, you have been only two and now you're pregnant, so you're gonna be three soon. Or you have been moving houses, or you, at first you lived separately and now you say, come on, let's move together or somebody makes a proposal and says, let's get married. This is all possible with that tower card in combination with the cards I will show you now. The first one that came out after that is the King of Pentacles. So this is what you really like, Leo, because Leo, you are a fixed sign. You are a sign that likes stability, comfort, you know, a kind of pillow you can rest on financially. You like somebody who has the money to provide, okay? Maybe it's you, maybe this energy is you and you are providing for somebody else. Maybe you are the one earning the money in the family, but definitely this is talking about a very good leader, somebody everybody is relying on, um, you know, the kind of person that you can go to when you have a problem and you can ask them for advice. So this is a very fair leader and it's a card of abundance. So you've got the security, the comfort, that's good. Then we have the seven of pentacles. So you're obviously tending to your garden. Either you are literally tending to your garden. So either you, you really work on the field with your hands in the earth to raise some crops, or this card could just mean that you are working on a project. Yeah, whatever your project is, maybe it is some kind of art project like we've seen before, um, but definitely you're working on something. Now, as this is in, in the relationship uh, sector of your reading, this would mean that you're working on your relationship. And maybe you also have a moment where you stop and think, you, you just pause and reflect and you think about how did we get as far as we did in our relationship and how can we continue to keep the fire alive? How can we continue to be that wonderful couple that spends the rest of the days with each other? So you're really thinking about that. And if you're single, then this is just that you are working on yourself, that you're working on your projects, on your on your thing, you know? You're basically, this person is by, by herself and really happy yeah, with what they do. So this card would explain Express that if you're single, you're not especially, you know, keen on finding a partner. You like a partner if he's there, but if there's none, it's fine. And you just tend to your own garden. Uh, and then we've got the best card ever for relationship readings. Oh my God, you've got the Ten of Cups. This is the happy family card, okay? This is the card of marriage, having kids, be happily ever after. Uh, you know, it's like wonderful. It can't even get better. This card is about finding your soulmate, finding true love or having true love, um, being in harmony with each other. This is so beautiful, yeah? especially if there was harsh times behind 
you, then you would be so happy to finally get that, yeah? And here with the Seven of Pentacles, we also have a strong sign that something good is growing from all of that. It's a card that says uh, the fruit is not ripe yet, but it's very close. You're almost there, yeah? So to say. Now let's see if we can get a card from this deck right here for your love and relationship life. Is there a card for Leo inside this deck, please? Whoop. One already came out and wow, it is the child. So you can see the little baby, whoop, baby cradle here. And uh, this can maybe mean that some of you are gonna be pregnant doesn't have to be, but for some of you, it could be a child coming in. Uh, for others of you, it could just mean that you are tending to your inner child, okay? So especially if you're single and you're not in a, in a coupled relationship, then uh, this one would mean you're tending to your inner child, especially with that seven of pentacles here, tending to your inner garden, okay? So you know what I mean, speaking to your inner child and, and in a meditation, for example, finding out what does my inner child really need Need? What were the childhood dreams that I once had? What are the things that I really need in a relationship? You're getting clear about this. Um, but for others of you, it could just mean that you're having a baby. Yeah. And also sometimes, you know, when you're a couple and you work together, my parents did, they work together. And for them, the business was their baby somehow. Yeah, this can also be. Now let's see, do we get a final card for Leos from the angel deck? Yes, we do. And we've got you're ready. So, my dear Leo, whatever you're ready for, having babies, getting married, moving to another country, what is it? <laughs> getting that new job. So you're definitely ready for this new life. I mean, we've got two transformation cards in this reading. We've got the death card and the tower card. Wow, so this is huge transformation going on. You're going from the old you to the new you. So Leo, this is what I have for you at this time. I love this reading for you. It's amazing, it's so positive. And I hope you don't forget that you leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell button on the side so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And down beneath uh, the, the video you can find some information about my channel. For example, my playlists are there and my next live readings where you can ask me questions personally in the chat. So I hope to see you soon. I love you guys. Goodbye. You can ask me your questions live in the chat in my live readings. The next ones will be on June 6th, July 7th, August 8th, September 9th, October 10th. I think you get the system by now. I see you soon.